So what if I just told you in just one week I made over 35,000 using one simple strategy on park adoption. Of course you heard me right, I made 35,000 profit with 95% winning rate and it takes just 2 minutes per trade. And the best part, you don't need hours in front of your screen. I'm talking about quick 2 minutes trade that can change everything. Let me show you how simple it is. I use super easy RSI based strategy and it's been delivering insane result. This is not even hype at all and you're about to see how you can handle it too. In the next few minutes, I'm going to break down this entire strategy step by step and I'll trade live to prove just how powerful it is. But first, I need you to pay attention because this could change the way you trade forever. Are you ready to stop guessing and start winning with 95% accuracy? Then let's go. So right here, we are making use of three indicators. The first indicator I'm making use of is called Bollinger Band. The second indicator is Fractal. Third indicator is MSD. All right. And the last indicator is RSI. So with my Bollinger Band come with a period of six, the deviation is 1.3. On the start part here, I take all the line to be on two pixel and I use this color combination. So that's pretty much all you have to do. So when you're done, you hit save. And the second indicator is Fractal. You don't actually need to do anything here. It's actually a default setting. On the start part here, you just leave it at the taste. So you just hit save. So the third indicator I use is MSD with a period of six the first period is six the slow period is 19 why the signal period is six on the start part here i take my msd line to two pixel and signal line to two pixel so that's pretty much all you have to do so when you're done you hit set so the last indicator which is the new indicator i added the strategy is called rsi i actually change my period to seven all right on the start part here i make sure i take all the lines to be on two pixel so that's pretty much it so when you're done you hit set. So this strategy is two minutes strategy. We are doing this on two minute um, trade time. Doing this on two minute um, kind of time frame as well. And of course, I'm using Henneke Ashley Candlestick. So that's pretty much all you have to know. Like I said on my previous video, this strategy work with both OTC and real market. So on today's video, I'll be trading it on both OTC market and on a real market. All right. Okay, guys. Over here, I'm finding a good moment. So right now, I'm going to enter. Um, to trade on this um real quick so how this strategy work is very simple it's just like um the previous video but on today's video i'm going to show you perfectly the thing you actually need to look before you enter a trade the number one thing is to make sure that the candlestick you're placing your trade on is actually very strong candlestick i make mention of this last time and also make sure that the candlestick actually bridge below your bolinga band line here all right and also with your fracture line all right so make sure that the candlestick bridge below this two line here i'm talking about the red line of the fractal and the um the last white line of your balinga band all right so when that happened with your mscd make sure that the intersection happened all right so make sure that the both intersection happen here and make sure that your rsi2 you have it at the same position you have the intersection of your imscd i hope you understand make sure that the boat line happen in a very strong overbought condition and the boat line are actually coming down in a trend so when you find a position like this you can actually enter a trade for sure so guys let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one all right so this is very powerful guys i've been trying this strategy especially when i add a new indicator for the couple i think for the last three days and it was very powerful like very powerful as you can see with the money on that it's a good one so guys if this is your first time trading or you're just newly in a binary option uh what's it called joining the broker i'm using is called pocket option which is one of the best broker out there to sign up with the broker there's a link in this video description make sure that you check it out and sign up i also have a 15 percent discount bonus for you guys anytime you want a deposit all right okay guys over here i'm finding a good moment for an up trade so right here i'm going to put in the two trade um so anytime you're going for an up trade there's some certain thing you always need to confirm as well so let me actually grab my tools and explain a much better the number one thing is to always make sure that the candlestick you place the trade on is a very strong one i used to say this all the time do not place the trade when the candlestick is not strong when you're not having a strong or full body candlestick is very important so the second thing is to make sure that the candlestick you place the trade on actually bridge above the green line of your factorial and the upper line of your Bollinger Band. I'm talking about this white upper line here. 
and the green line all right so that's pretty much it so make sure the candlestick actually bridge above the two line the second thing is your msd and rsi needs to be doing the same thing the intersection of the both line needs to happen with your msd and make sure that you have the rsi line in a very strong overbought condition as well and make sure that the two line are actually going up in a trend i hope you understand so guys right. um we have less than i think we have like 45 seconds left to close this trade so let's wait and see it is going to be a good one in the next few seconds all right guys we have less than a seconds a good one there when the money on that so guys i hope you understand how this work right now make sure you wait to the last trade all right let me take the last trade real quick okay guys over here i'm finding a good moment so i'm going to enter this trade um real quick so as you can see right here the candlestick i placed my trade on actually bridge very strong below both the fracture line and the um bolinga band um the last line right there and not only that you see that this candlestick is a very strong candlestick like i do said always make sure that you're placing your trade on a very strong stable candlestick which is the number one thing you can see the intersection of my msd right here the same thing applicable with my rsi and the boat line is actually heading down on a downtrend this is actually a very perfect moment so that's the reason why i place the trade so guys let's wait and see we have like one minute left to close the trade all right guys i think we have less than five seconds to close the trade a good one on this white screen i'm going to show you the example of a straw candlestick i always make mention about all right i'm going to show you three examples the first one is going to be a very strong candlestick that i recommend the second one is going to be another candlestick but that is not too strong and the last one is going to be uh, a very weak candlestick all right all right so the first candlestick i usually recommend on my video is this make sure that all the candlestick is in a full position all the body is full like this so the second candlestick that are a little bit strong but not that i'm um, strong is something like this so when you're finding a position like this you see that sometimes the top might be a little bit um, big and you have a tiny tail down and sometimes you may have it um you may have the tiny tail up and the down will be big all right so this is another candlestick but not that strong but the last one which is very weak candlestick is the one that actually formed like this all right let me show you so this is the one I would never recommend you to place a trade on because when something like this is happening in the market it means that there is currently indecision in the market we don't know if buyer are pushing the market or the seller are pushing the market so never take a trade when you're finding a candlestick like this we call it a doji candlestick most of the time the candlestick i recommend is this first one right here is the one i always call a strong candlestick and when you watch most of my video you're going to see that this first one here is usually what i normally place my trade on i hope you understand that. so guys this is where i'm going to stop on today's video um if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next upload if you try this strategy let me know in the comment section how it works for you i would love to hear your feedback i love you guys and i'll see you on the next one